Well, look at that little icon there, we got to see. Hey there everyone, this is Gao Kao playing CLDC 2020. We are skipping to 54, uh, 55th, 45th, 45, 45th place, because there's two of them. And here we got by Mocha Craft, Energy Plant, wowee! Yeah, so I feel like the chocolateness has been rising quickly lately. Oh, well. <laughs> Wowie! Uh, were you lazy the adjective or lazy the person? That's that's the real question I'm trying to answer for myself here. Welcome to the Starscape! This is a lazy level we're gonna be playing here at the energy plant. We can move here if we want. You know what? Let's get some three up. That's where we start. We're on a moon, gonna get some moon. Moon oh, it's just it's just the era of moon. Welcome to Moonville. Welcome to this place. Oh, you're just invisible. You know what? I got moons. It's fine. It's not a full rack, but hopefully it's enough for the energy plant. Wowie. I love- I just love reading Wowie, it turns out. Okay, yeah, look at that. Like, just look at this, this, this vibe. Pokey is frequent in this contest. Is this just me? Is it just me or is there a lot of pokies that we've been seeing a lot lately? I don't know, just not even lately, just in general. Pokey has taken over tomorrowcentral.net three years ago. What are you gonna do about it? Cry? Because that's not gonna fix anything. Alright, check it out. I survived the ride. The coin ride wants me to go downward, so I will. Oh, look at that. Whoa! Homing blast of Mr. Guy. Yeah, we're not going to fly. We're hopefully gonna survive. Do a spin jump to get in a thing. That guy's still throwing baseball. Like, do they aim? Like, yeah, they're like Rinkas. But then you got like baseball Fredo up there, kind of freaking me out. And so I just kind of stayed there, paralyzed by inaction. And that's why I got blasted, because I was just sitting there, but like, there's just... There's a lot of things floating around. So I did not encounter a single power-up yet. Oh, so you get introduced to these a lot earlier, actually, if you go here. Do you gain anything from... Oh, we get a one-up here. I mean, that's nice, I guess. I'd rather a red or mushroom, though, personally. Alright, get out of here, guy, buddy. Buddy guy. Alright, well, I think that, you know, when you are confronted with things that just fill the universe with their projectiles, like, in general, the solution is to keep moving. Like, you don't want to just sit around in a place where they're going to upset you and give you stomach ulcers. I just, I, I thought, I'm, I want to go back down, but you can't. You can't jump back down through some ice solids in Mario. That's not a thing you can do. Dude, the jump didn't jump. Like, the solution here... Well, normally it would be to just go. But so, like, I kind of have to go here. But, like, how... Whatever. Why? I thought you were through four. God damn it. Okay, so that's how you can do that. Got it. There's a checkpoint. Good to know. Okay, well, checkpoint is... Uh, what? What's this? What does this do? I don't know. I can't get up there, so it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, I mean... This is a very cramped level. A choice was given, a very explicit choice was given that you would never get any extra hits. So, 
it's very cramped, and like things fly out at you in your very limited space. Like all of that is on purpose. Is it good? <laughs> like I kind of realize why. Oh boy, you got you know you never get a mushroom. Um, it's probably a secret exit or something. But like I said, like unless a game very explicitly tells me that secret exit. I feel like it's just better in general for everyone that I don't go for them. That's what past uh, contest has told me. Yes, I was wondering, is this gonna be a mushroom? No, because like, look at how the level is constructed. Like, everything is tiny little areas. Like, playing this big would be an absolute nightmare. <sighs> but I wish that, in that case, you would have incorporated, like, a health system of some kind, maybe? Just because, you know, everything becomes instantly hyper-punishing, -punish right? And I don't know if that was the intent. Like, the level is not... Uh, can I jump up here? Okay, I don't know why I thought I couldn't, and I don't know why I did it after thinking I couldn't. <laughs> Lots of mysteries here. There we go, thank you for the boost, buddy. I appreciate it. Hey, there's the end. Okay, the jump didn't jump, but it wasn't over a pit, so... It's fine, Sonic's tongue. Yeah, I like the oh, cat. Okay, uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, <laughs> old lands. Oh no. Yeah, this level is interesting. It has faults, but I feel like the level cannot exist as it is without those faults. If that makes sense. But yeah, I feel like just having a health system while remaining small only would help this level tremendously. Uh, like, it's kind of hard to get used to the homing lotus. And like, again, like, and you're very, very much, like, constantly under constraints. But otherwise, I enjoy this level quite a bit. It's just, it has that big, it has that one big fault that just kind of shadows it, unfortunately. The other 44th, or 45th place is by full cannon, and we saw a fish. It's the four flowers. Mario, you're stuck! You're gonna- Oh, okay. the spiny wasn't interested, it turns out. Still for... See, let me see. We're in the plains. Welcome to Chocolate Level Design Contest. We come back for two years. <laughs> That's funny. That's just probably like the intro thread or something. I wasn't aware it took a break for a year. Now I know and this is a land of flowers. Option mode. Let's check our options before we commit to anything. Uh, so that's probably one-ups. That's coins. That's okay. Well, I'm loving this background. All right, so tell me more about what's happening here. Or I guess show me more. All right, so this isn't really option. This is one-ups. Get your one-ups while you're ready. You can bounce on the skelly or you can just collect the moons. I love the music that is not music. Like, it's diegetic, like, water sounds. So what's the coin room, then? Is it, like, just lesser lives? Due to... Uh-huh. Walmart has been closed for a long time! Fantastic. I don't know why I crushed a man's spine. But it felt important. Get on the news. Alright, what's over here? This is the music room. Is it, like, music credits, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out. Welcome to level one theme. There we go. Yeah. Uh, level one theme. Can I press a button? Did I move? Press my button. Level one theme. Oh, all right. Level one theme. I hope everyone got their fill because it's floor flowers. All right, here we go. It's a level one. Whoa. That was probably my computer doing something there. I don't know why, like. Frame rate stopped existing there for a hot second. That's always fun. Anyways, floor flower. We got guys jumping right to their doom. Oh, but there's floor though. See, they're here to teach. Whoa, it's a spiny that flies. Never understood why Mario Maker gave flying spinies the ability to fill the world with spikes. Seems kind of a very powerful boost in ability compared to their normal ability of. I'm basically a Goomba, except you can't jump on me. Uh, is there land? There is. Okay, oh boy. Okay, no, um... This place struggles a little bit. 
there's kind of a lot happening, including that dandy little turtle. It's tan fun. Go ahead and turtle fun. I took the Dagadon. And then, once again, oh jeez. Yeah, this level might be hard. The looping of the mountains in the background are really weird. They're like really mushy. So there's something down here. Ah, I missed the Dagadon anyway, so da ba da bow. Good thing I died. See, but see, I'm not gonna throw myself into every pet I see. So if like if there are other goodies and other pets, they they shall remain unpilfered unless I accidentally land into their domain. Because I just God damn it. Whatever, it's fine. Well, yeah, there's no way around that. I lived. Uh, hey, new things. That's exciting. Balloon things. Uh, well, all right. Reset. No. All right. Let's go. You didn't know it was going to be a balloon? Well, looks like you have to die. I mean, that's fair, but then putting another box, like, right next to it just seems mean. I don't like the spiny. I don't like the way they just fill up the screen with hurt. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like flying spinies are too powerful in a game like Mario, where your ability to deal with things is limited. Except they're Nintendo designs, so it's like, it's like I feel like I'm not allowed to complain, but I'm gonna do it anyways. This is a weirdly kind of discordant music, and I think I like it. <laughs> All right, it's balloon time. So I was ducking, so I got the small hitbox at the very least. That's exciting, because here, yeah, like, this is not an option. Mange la chose de Wow, this is a terrible little balloon spot. I'm just gonna say it out right. I'm just gonna spell it out. Like, that place is full. <laughs> it's just full of hurt everywhere. I don't understand the vibe of this level. See, I feel like I want to be small. Now, the balloon path does seem short, though. But you have to hurry here. Okay, no, the reason why it was nigh impossible was because I took too long to get here. Alright, hey, moon, by the way. Moon on top of the hill! Alright, fair enough. Cutscene, cutscene, cut, 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 cut zone. Midpoint! I found the correct name after a thousand years. Wow, getting hurt in an unavoidable way. I didn't need to look hard for that. Right, oh shoot. I'm, I just wanted to ride a platform up there in case there was something. There's nothing. Popo. Uh, okay, so I mean... At this point, I guess the hunt for the Dagadons don't really make sense anymore. Considering that if I... Uh, yeah, okay. This has happened. Ding! How? Wait, how does this work? Alright, well, okay, this is where I'm learning how to deal with this setup. Dragon Coin Hunt is abandoned because of the rules of how Smoo works. That's just how it is. Um... There's a lot going on here. Alright, so go here. You can kind of dodge through most of that. All of this don't matter. So, my mistake here, I guess, is that you need a... You need a running jump like this to be able to make it where you want to be. And that Rosie Joan is still there. That's cool. Slowdown is here, too. To that. Uh, yeah, it's almost like there's a thousand particles effect in the world, and now it's a wonderful world of music. Just to add more fun to your bun, you can clearly see hammers disappear because they're having so much good time. Alright, get out of here. Alright, gonna go ahead and skip out of the music world and up at a place that I don't understand. Nagadon is down here, what are you gonna do about it? Nothing at all, my friend! Yeah, this is a uh, cluttered. 
Like, there's just no other words for it, man. If you like stuff? Boy, howdy, we're gonna give you stuff. Whoa, that was lucky. That was no! My favorite part is how... Like, very uneven the frame rate is. Like, there's like tons of tiny little like micro slowdowns and whatnot in a high precision place. It's the best. Oh, crud. yeah, I'm just dead. Okay, I I didn't realize that the far bar took up the whole passage. God damn it! Like I, I was trying, hoping to get from the ledge directly. If I were to do that, I don't, I don't, I didn't count tiles to be honest. <laughs> Super Nintendo here just cannot handle half of what is expected out of it. At least I'm out of clock hell. Now I can just happily go out here. Now we're aware springy things exist, which honestly, I'm not gonna tirade against them, because for this level, these are fine. Also, they kind of fit in well. Well, that's the timing. This and go underneath. Yeah. I'm surprised that fire bar does not count as touching. Oh, it did now? Okay. So that was luck. It was not placement. Got it. Yeah, I don't like. I, I don't like the spikes from the flying spines. Like they just, they take up so much room for so long. Like they are. Incredibly something. I'm thinking of an adjective. You can probably find it in the dictionary. <laughs> Oppressive. That's the word I'm looking for. So, <laughs> I kind of like the rawness of this level, honestly. Like, it does a very explicit thing. It knows exactly what it wants to do, and it's doing it. I love how raw it is, but because of it, it's also extremely inelegant. I don't know. I, I dig it, though. It's probably just, like, a touch too hard for what it's doing. I love its weird vibe. Like, I don't quite get it, but I love it. <laughs> I, I love what it is I can perceive of it. it is, there's just something... Pause as my brain putting concepts together. This level feels like a hangover. And I realize this sounds like a mostly bad comparison, but it's it's the analogy my brain is resting on. <laughs> the game is the good sides of the hangover. Decode that however you want. 